What's up guys, my name is Solus Baby, and today I had a new idea for a series on my channel. After I was going over one of my gameplays the other day from Crucible, I had the idea to kind of pick apart what I was doing during my gameplay because it really helps me learn a lot from what I'm doing. So what I wanted to do was take an average gameplay, not a 40 plus kill clash or something like that, just an average gameplay in the competitive game type, and kind of see what I can learn from it, so maybe it'll help you out as well. So let's just jump right into it. We're playing on Burnout. I'm running a Blade Barrage Hunter with the Worm Husk Mask, so I can get my health regen back on my dodges. The Dust Rock Blues Shotgun, Luna's Howl, and the Wardcliffe Coil. Now, this is a good setup for this map. Covers all the angles pretty well. You definitely want to have a shotgun equipped and all that stuff. So let's just see how it goes here. Now, I run out here to the front. This is really not the best way that you should approach this map, but my teammates are doing it, so I'm trying to stay with them. You want to move through things like a SWAT team. That doorway there is death. I try to get a couple shots on people, throw some nades. Don't stay there for too long. Even if you have B, don't push there. Like I said, try to stay with your teammates as much as possible here. I move back to the middle because heavy spawns super quick. You want to control the heavy like an objective, like a control point. That heavy can win or lose games for you here. Now I get that guy down and I see the other one push. My two blueberries come up behind me. They have full health. I didn't. Use my worm husk to get some regen back. Couldn't get that guy down there. I got a shot on that guy, but I felt like I was down on the 2v1. Still trying to control that heavy, so I move back up. I hear the Telesto charge. I see it fire at my teammate there. Telesto's all over the heavy. Can't get that right now. Get some shots on that guy. Take this guy down to almost full. However, I get too aggressive here. I see my blueberry push in, so I think I can too. Not realizing the other two were on my radar already, and that supernova just takes me out in one hit. So regrouping here, I go right back to this doorway. Terrible idea. I keep rushing this doorway, and it's something I really need to learn from on this map, because that's a death trap. You die there a lot. Now here, as you can see, I get the quick Luna's Halproc on this guy. So now I have the ability to two-tap. Boom, boom, two to the head. I couldn't take that next guy out. He had the heavy. If I would have moved back and regen, I probably could have taken that guy out with my Lunas. It would have won at that range, even though he did have heavy. The Lunas Howl is a beast of a weapon. Here I am, going back to that doorway again. Risking it. I don't know why I keep doing it. Something we can definitely learn from there. Now the heavy is going to be spawning here in three seconds. I see one guy pushing up to it. I'm standing on this rotating platform. Really hard to hit your crits when you're moving around and you don't know it. I throw my nade to see if I can get the proc on that guy. I get the quick kill there. I know there's a guy behind me. And now there's a guy on both sides of me. So I got to pick which one I'm going to. The blueberry is up in that little cubby hole up there. Seems like he's fighting a guy. That guy I don't want to deal with pushing over the thing. So I move out the doorway and take out the guy approaching too aggressive here i see two people there i want to go for one quick kill to see if i can get the third that's just not the way you should play things especially when you see the guy charging supernova i should have just moved back and kept him in my lunas range approaching this doorway again it works out here because the guy pushes out i don't know how i get that crit shot but hey destiny what are you gonna do now i see my blueberry fighting with this guy that's a great thing to do right there, is if your teammate goes down, another full health teammate pops out from behind cover. People do not expect a full health person to come out. Now here's what I do wrong. I get shots on this guy, and I just push him. I don't realize he has the heavy. You should never push your enemy, even if you have shots on him. Don't chase them, is what I mean to say. Don't run after them. You never know if they went back towards a teammate, got some health regen, used the well if they're a warlock, anything. Just don't do it. I see the special here and I want to go for it. I'm getting a little aggressive. Slide and get this kill. Wait for this guy to push me. I know I've got shots on this guy, but we're both really hurt. So I sit there crouched and making him think that I moved away. That crouch is super important if you're around the corner. It makes the enemy think that you ran away from them. So they push in. Now I'm seeing here there's one guy in front. One guy moving around me. I've got three blips close on my radar. Slide out and get this kill. Terrible idea. Too aggressive. I should have waited until they got pushed. Just like I did a second ago. Don't just run out there with a shotty. I totally underestimated how close the guy was. I see the golden gun here. I know that it went out. I throw a nade to make sure that he's not going to come that way without me knowing about it. 
Now I push up this way into my little cubby hole, and I see the heavy going up, and I totally whiff it. I was too late on that. I saw the red and didn't want to get killed as soon as I peeked out. Now this guy's got the heavy, and I feel bad about missing my blade barrage, so I try to go get him. Never do that. Don't get tilted by your own bad decisions. I move up and get the kill, but the other two guys came up and swept me, getting the heavy back anyway, so what does it matter really? Back up into my little cubby hole. I like it up here. It feels safe. Nova Warp, you run away from a Nova Warp. That's your best defense when you're at that range. I try to get back to getting some solid footing, but I'm panicking because of the Nova Warp back there. I just miss my shots. A little bit of heat of the moment there. I probably could have taken that guy out had it been a little bit faster on getting my precision shots. Now I move up here because I know the heavy spawning. And right here I realize that I'm making a terrible decision moving up. But I'm already committed to it. So moving in, getting my health back with the warm husk, sliding up and getting this kill. No, I'm getting pushed. Boom. Learning from my mistakes earlier. This guy's got a ward cliff again. I take him out, but he still gets me. Good trade there. Four to one. I'll take that all day long. Now I'll move up here. I know the heavy's over there on my left. I think the blueberry's picking it up. He's jumping on top of me here. Boom. Terrible. Never be looking down your shotgun sights when there's somebody jumping at it up above you. You're not going to track on them quick enough. They're going to be moving too fast. I'll show you a good example of how you're supposed to handle that situation here in a second. Don't worry. I'll hit this guy eventually. Sometimes it's just a problem hitting your shots. Now, here's what I was talking about with the prime example of what you should do in that situation. Now, this guy pushes me. I take him out quick and easy. He's jumping over me again. Boom, not this time, Junior. If you dodge and move your camera up into the air, if you're fast enough, you can get eyeballs on him before he realizes what you're doing. That way, you can land the first blow with the shotgun. Now, here, I'm getting surrounded, and I know it, so I move out here and take out this guy with my knives, and I push back in for reasons that I'm not currently aware of. I keep running this doorway, and that's definitely something that needs to change on this map. Here I'm pushing in, and I shouldn't be. But it works out in the end. The other guy comes out and pushes me up. Now I see the one over there moving to the left, and I go to push for him. Not sure where he went, jumping up, trying to find him. I'm getting a little bit too aggressive here. I use my warm to get out of that smoke right there i know this guy's right here and this is a terrible gunfight i got tilted by the smoke what is that well that's not shotgun range what am i doing i don't even notice the guy coming up to the right i think at this point in time i had actually said to one of my friends in party chat as i was playing this game man we got this i'm not even worried about it we're 12 points up don't do that because as soon as you do underestimate your teammate you're gonna start getting wailed on like i do here don't I'm getting caught in sprint. What am I doing? Never be sprinting at an enemy. If you're going to go towards an enemy, at least slide, dodge, jump, do something. Don't just let him pelt you in the face. Here I'm back up into my little safe cubby hole. Heavy down there on the ground. It despawns. That one's not up for 10 seconds. Push on this guy for a while. Get those kills. No guy to my left. Terrible gunfight to get into. I see only his head and he sees my entire body. So while I have a tiny target to hit, he can shoot all of me and be just fine with it. So I'm trying to regroup here. I can tell we're losing a little bit of momentum. Once you lose momentum in a match, it's really hard to get it back. I see two or three guys on my front of me there. One guy up here. Use my blade barrage thinking I could get the one guy around the corner. I couldn't. Couldn't even get the shotgun kill on him because I pushed up too hard just walking around the corner. I hear the shadow shot go off. So I know it's out there. I hear the golden gun as well. So I'm kind of nervous about where the supers are. So I move this way because I don't think they're in front of me. Thinking I can get the easy kill on that guy. A teammate comes in and swoops up. I got tunnel vision there trying to stay away from supers. Not realizing what I had around me. Trying to regroup again here. Heavy's up in one second. We do a terrible, terrible, terrible job of controlling the heavy in this one. I could have maybe landed that last shot there, but realistically, that ward clip is going to take me out every time. I'll take a trade in Clash if we're ahead, but it's definitely not the scenario you want to go for. Now, I hear the Nova Warp pop again. They have two of them, so it gets a little hectic trying to deal with both. 
right there, pushed up and shouldn't have. They were both aiming us. Got the quick double kill on us. Props to that guy. He's got some good aim. Now I'm back up here to the middle. I know the Nova Warp's out. I see the red on my radar. I'm hoping he pushes me, but he didn't in the front there. So I crouch down around this corner. And I back up. I'm in a perfectly open line of sight. I don't know what I'm doing here. There's a guy coming up behind me. Yeah, shotgun and melee the Nova Warp. Like, that's going to work in Destiny 2. That Nova Warp, man, if you see it coming and you don't have something to deal with it quick and fast, get away. Run. I should have known better. I heard it pop. I should have been moving. That's something we can all learn from. Get away from the supers. You don't have to let them get the kills. Here we're getting a little bit under pressure. 69 to 69 with 10 seconds to go. I know that I've been getting tilted. I know my last couple lives haven't been going well. My momentum is shot. So what I do is I try to run out the timer. What I do is I wait for this guy to push and I get that kill. Look what would have happened if we pushed. Both of us would have died while we only got the one kill. They would have won that match had I not taken a second and moved back. You don't always need to be the aggressor. With that being said, guys, that's this gameplay. It's a pretty average one. 26 kills, an 8 streak, and 2 multis. A 1.53 efficiency. But I learned a lot from this gameplay, and I hope you did too. If you guys want to see more of this content, shoot me a comment down in the description. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel for any more stuff like this. Give me some tips of what you would have done in these situations and what you think I should be going for in the future as far as Crucible gameplays. That being said, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.